Hello friends, this is Tara with Tara's Healthy Life on Facebook and tarasbook.com. So what does a person do about cravings? Well, I'm going to share with you this morning what I'm going to do about my craving for oatmeal cereal. So you may be wondering, what's wrong with oatmeal cereal? Isn't that healthy? I know for myself that oatmeal does not sit so well with me currently, and so I try to come up with solutions, especially when I'm having a craving. I know that's not the time to have uh, a little treat of oatmeal because it's something that I really love. I love the texture, I love the flavor, and so I try to come up with solutions. So this morning what I did is I just assessed what is it that my body is really craving and I noticed it's more about textures and flavors and I noticed that I really want something sweet, something cool and smooth that I would get in the almond milk for example, and something a little more hearty that I would get in the oatmeal. Something a little nutty, kind of vanilla-y. So I try to come up with solutions. How can I get my nutrients and the flavor needs so that I don't have greater cravings later? Because that's usually what happens, isn't it? We, we succumb to our cravings, we eat stuff that our body doesn't really need or want, and we actually end up having more cravings later. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the same almond milk that I would use for the cereal, and I'm going to make a green drink with this amazing meal is a raw powder with all sorts of wonderful things in it. It shows blueberries, wheat grass, all kinds of good stuff, and it's in raw form, so it has so many nutrients that are available, so I know I'm going to get a lot of good stuff out of it. And I put it in this shaker, and this is a great type of shaker, by the way, that kind of has a circle spirally thing on the inside. Those are the best ones that I've found so far for making these drinks. So I'm going to have that, and that's going to meet a lot of my desires and nutrient needs. And then I'm also going to allow myself to have one of these snackaroons. We've, these are really great. We found them on a trip. In any case, I would limit myself to only one or two of these. And you may wonder, well, why are you having that in the morning? That doesn't seem very healthy. That's a, that's a cookie, isn't it? Well, this is my philosophy. If you allow yourself a little bit of your cravings and make sure that you get your nutrient needs, the cravings are going to be a lot less later and your body will tend to just be okay with it. So you fire types before you just run off to the fridge and grab whatever you want because you want it. Just take a moment and assess, is this going to really serve you later? You earth types before really getting into the, emo getting into the emotion about food, just take a moment and assess how do you really want to feel later about all of this. And for everyone, air, water types, take a moment to analyze and assess and use your creativity, you all have it, and notice how do I want to feel later, what is it that my body's really craving, break it down, and you can definitely find some really good solutions out there. If you want to brainstorm and have more solutions to your cravings, just post to this video and I'd be glad to help. Take care everybody.